So tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna create a simple application called sports app and I will be implementing the navigation uh, uh, concept that we have uh, learned in my previous tutorial so we learned about different patterns uh, how to implement navigation right so we were we uh, we learned about the navigation uh, uh, navigation bar you know um, uh, then we have learned about bottom navigation then we learned about the tab navigation so I will be implementing the bottom navigation in this uh, app, uh, in this application and I will be creating a, a simple application to demonstrate that okay uh, so demonstrate the use case of uh, this uh, bottom navigation and also I will be uh, okay so what our app will be consisting of the your our app will be consisting of three or more top level destination so uh, you will be also understanding the difference between top level destination and secondary destination so uh, we have one primary destination also we will have primary destination or the top level destinations called my sports we should also link to other more secondary destinations so i will be also try to uh, implement the difference between the primary destination and secondary destinations so we will be using bottom seat okay uh, and add individual secondary sport destination to the navigation graph so that it can link to their destination okay so uh, okay let's go through it actually i have already created a simple activity which is very pretty blank activity okay everything is empty here and uh, for strings i have been i have used this strings for my sports app and themes i used this theme uh, called bottom card which is pretty much like a outline button okay so let's uh, we are good to go and uh, let's uh, write this application right uh, so let me close everything uh, first we need to do is also let me check if, the, if I have declared it in the manifest yeah no uh, we have not declared yet uh, the in our manifest so let me uh, it's called a sports uh, app okay so uh, let's declare our activity which is called sports activity uh, and uh, pretty much uh, pretty much it's uh, uh, exported to uh, true and mm. okay so what we will have to do is we have to because it's our uh, launcher activity so we have to also mm, pretty much declare our uh, launcher and uh, yes guys so let's run the activity and let's see if uh, we have our blank uh, screen being launched there yeah so we have our blank screen and okay so let's write the application now so the first thing is we have to do is um, uh, we need to create also multiple other uh, fragments right uh, so first thing is let's uh, go and um, check our uh, let's create the the bottom navigation view in our main activity so uh, so this is our bottom navigation view which uh, with the width of 0 dp and and height of wrap content okay which will be pretty much in the bottom of our uh bottom to bottom of parent right so and uh, it will be also have uh, the to start of parent and end to end of parent right uh, okay so we have our bottom navigation uh so we will also be containing a fragment container view uh, with uh, with pretty much uh, the width and height uh, width to uh, match parent and height to match parent okay okay let's let me provide the id for our uh, navigation container view is a nav host fragment actually okay bottom navigation view let me also create the uh, id it's a nav view and uh, what we need is also uh, 
we have our uh, background uh, is uh, Android window background and uh, frame container view will be containing uh, okay actually we will also have uh, we also need the menu right so let's create the uh, bottom nav menu okay so let's create the bottom nav menu in our menu item uh, for sports uh, so uh, let's go to the resources menu and uh, let's create this uh, sports uh, bottom nav menu okay so uh, our sports bottom nav menu will be consisting of uh, all the items for our uh, navigation bottom navigation bar so let's me add all the necessary items we'll be adding four items uh, so um, my sports is uh, an a drawable icon so let's create a, a drawable resource file let's create a vector actually it's a, uh, sports so actually uh, let me add my sports as uh, okay like this one uh, it's uh, called uh, my sports okay and uh, yes we have our my sports we need account and also we need profile so let's create our vector assets called account account okay let me create this one and we also need a profile let me make profile as a let me make this as a uh, okay what I have to do actually is I have to rename uh, Actually, I have to rename this uh, account. Okay, and uh, uh, factor name. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, this is yeah, this is account actually, and this is profile. Okay, so now we are good to go. So, uh, in sense, we have created a sports bottom nav menu. Okay, so. Uh, let's add this bottom nav menu to our uh, app uh, menu like bottom nav uh, menu okay sports bottom nav menu okay and uh, we have to add uh, labels uh, label visibility to more to be labeled okay so uh, uh, yeah we have created our bottom navigation view for the moment now we have to also uh, let's put margin uh, horizontal to 0 dp okay because we don't need any margins and uh, okay so we are okay so we need to create a fragment container view so our fragment for our fragment container view we need to also have uh, actually we need to also have the navigation uh, uh, okay so we need to have uh, uh, it will be uh, to top of uh, nav view actually ok 
okay so and actually uh, it's already uh, matching the parent so we don't need to uh, provide any constraint the only thing we need to provide is uh, it's being a uh, navigation host fragment so we have to assign android x uh, navigation fragment nav host fragment okay so we need now the navigation graph so let's go and create the navigation graph uh, for this uh, sports uh, application uh, so for to create the navigation graph uh, we obviously we need the uh, first the fragments right so we have to create the necessary fragments um, destination fragments obviously we need uh, these three uh, four destination fragments and other uh, so let me go and yeah we need obviously these four primary uh, primary destinations and then we'll also need other uh, secondary destinations after your uh, my sports right uh, so let's create a, a blank uh, fragment which will be uh, step by step uh, like home fragment and uh, I need another blank fragment which is also called account fragment okay I'm just pretty much uh, home fragment account fragment uh, no actually sorry guys uh, this will be account and this will be profile uh, and uh, we I need also another fragment called profile fragment profile fragment okay I also need another fragment called my uh, sports fragment uh, okay let me create this blank fragment called uh, my sports fragment okay and uh, uh, okay so we have these four principal fragments uh, so let me uh, just create a navigation graph uh, using this uh, four principal fragments so uh, our uh, let's create a navigation it's it will be called mobile sports navigation okay so here let's create our starting destination is our home fragment okay and then we will be having more other fragments like profile fragment okay we will have uh, account fragment we will be having uh, my sports my sports fragment okay it's all pretty much uh, those are principal uh, uh, destinations okay uh, let me just these are principal destinations and uh, uh, yes okay so our starting destination is a home fragment uh, okay so now uh, we have to add this in our uh, main activity which is the sports activity where is our sports activity uh, sports activity is let me go to the sports activity okay so here we have uh, we need to have our uh, graph we have to uh, define our graph is navigation is a mobile sports navigation so this is our navigation all right so uh, what else let me run the application and check if everything is pretty okay okay yes I think something is working fine at least uh, we need to still uh, add the the navigation 
Mm, but uh, bottom navigation bar uh, view is pretty working fine so uh, what next uh, we need to go and check our uh, uh, first our main activity uh, uh, and then we need to uh, provide uh, do the uh, add the necessary logic so let's uh, create our app bar configuration okay so in our app bar configuration we have to have uh, uh, create a nav host fragment fragment manager find fragment by id is r.id.nav host fragment as a nav host fragment right uh, so uh, nav controller nav host fragment and get the nav controller so now we have to uh, assign the necessary app bar configuration and then uh, set up our uh, accent bar with the nav controller so Okay, so app bar, let's create the app bar configuration. So your will uh, will be consisting of a set of uh, dot nav home. Okay, so uh, let me go and check out my first uh, is the nav menu is nav home. Okay, actually uh, I have to also make. Uh, so nav home so nav profile uh, nav account nav uh, okay let me see what it has here my sports okay nav my sports okay so uh, pretty we are okay now what we have to do is uh, sports activity so let's me create all the app bar configuration nav uh, home then we have uh, nav account then we have uh, nav profile then we have nav uh, my sports okay so we have all this uh, uh, then we set up uh, action bar with nav controller okay uh, so we have to pass the nav controller and the app bar configuration and now we need to find view by id the, the we need to get the bottom navigation view and uh, the reference to the we need to get the reference to the bottom navigation view and then set up with nav controller like so set up with nav controller and pass the nav controller okay so and uh, finally we have to also uh, implement also on super navigation up and uh, we'll have to nav controller find nav controller uh, id nav host fragment then we have to return nav controller navigation up bar configuration uh, otherwise just provide um, uh, sorry super dot uh, on support navigation up okay so okay let's import this okay so this is pretty fine and uh, uh, let me apply this and see if uh, it's pretty working okay uh, okay so uh, fragment account fragment profile fragment my sports fragment home okay I think everything is working pretty fine because we are able to see the navigation right okay so what's next um, the next thing that we have to do is uh, 
Uh, let me see if there is there is something that I have to still implement. Uh, no, yeah, uh, home to uh, is a home as profile account and my sports okay so this was the thing that was missing okay so now it's home account profile and my sports okay we still need to uh, nah. okay let's avoid this unnecessary implementation of this code that was generated by the template okay so the first thing is we need to implement this uh, home fragment uh, actually uh, your home fragment doesn't have anything special it just have the um, it just have the pretty simple text view right so we need to add this text view and uh, let me add this text view uh, uh, because it's like also a constraint layout so okay let me add this uh, uh, simple text view as pretty simple text view we just have if you see it's pretty simple and similarly also for uh, home fragment we have also uh, like profile fragment just remove the unnecessary code uh, so this one and similarly with the profile fragment we also need to do the the same thing mm, it will be profile fragment okay and uh, we have also account fragment uh just do the similar process here remove the unnecessary codes here the only thing important here is our on create view if you want to go uh, and understand more about the fragments i have gone through a detailed lecture of uh, what is fragment and how to implement fragment and how to add dynamic and static fragments you know so multiple interesting topics of fragment fragment is being discussed in my previous lecture so just go and follow so this is uh, account uh, fragment and finally we will also have my sports uh, my sports uh, pretty much uh, here is like my sports fragment right and uh, my sports fragment okay uh, so uh, let's remove this okay let's remove the unnecessary code okay we are good to go now and let me apply this uh, it's not working because we need to reinstall the application so let's run okay now it's pretty pretty fine guys <coughs> okay as you go to the uh, readme file i said like one of the primary destinations so actually these are all primary destination guys okay this is the principal or the main destinations or top level destinations or primary destinations but as you see one of the primary destinations called my sports should link to uh, one or more secondary destinations. so we have to link here a more secondary destination so let's do that uh, let me go to my sports fragment and I have to um, uh, obviously I have to um, just make some modification here I need some uh, that it has more other primary destinations so uh, my sports fragment will be pretty different it will be not same it will be consisting of three buttons okay like this one like football basketball hockey you know this primary destinations when you click this uh, will lead to a secondary destination so we need to pretty much um, just implement my sports fragment and uh, what you need to do is like let's override on view created and then we have to apply and uh, the 
the necessary uh, uh, listeners right find view by id uh, it's like a button button and you get the id Salvas get ball okay because uh, yeah you have a football basketball hockey right so let's talk about uh, football and uh, set on click listener and what you have to do is you have to navigate navigation using navigation dot uh, find uh, nav controller uh, navigate uh, to the uh, id dot uh, to uh, i need a football right but 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 uh, the problem is i don't have a football fragment right so we need to create the uh, football fragment here we need to create other fragments uh, let me just create a fragment which is called foot football fragment and pretty much this football fragment will have uh, uh, will have similarly this, uh, this text code you know uh, I mean this simple text view which just say football fragment and I also need to create other fragments called um, basketball basketball fragment okay and uh, similarly it will also have the similarly simple text view okay and we will also need to have uh, there was a football basketball and what was that the next one let me check out uh, hockey so let's go and uh, create another blank fragment called hockey fragment and uh, similarly it will also be consisting of a simple text view right uh, okay so now we are pretty much good to go and we have to implement this everything uh, in our my sports fragments because this uh, sports fragment will be leading to uh, our uh, particular navigation uh, would be navigate uh, would be navigating to the secondary destination so what I, we have to do is also we need to go to our navigation uh, graph and we need to add more uh, the remaining fragments that is like hockey we need uh, basketball then we need also football right okay so we need all these fragments and uh, mm, let me get the ids here is like all this is uh, let me just nav hockey nav basketball nav foot ball okay now it's pretty uh, pretty uh, nav uh, football okay and similarly the same process goes for each and every so you just need to get the football basketball and then finally you have a hockey and uh, it's like nav uh, basketball and nav hockey okay so voila guys so we are pretty much okay so let's run the application and uh, our application is pretty complete i guess so we have this uh, pretty simple uh, application called sports application with this four primary uh, navigation uh, destinations and with one uh, uh, primary destination called my sports containing uh, this secondary destination which pretty much navigates to secondary fragment right goes back basketball fragment you know it goes to hockey fragment goes back you know and yeah it's pretty fine guys so it's a pretty simple application with all the necessary uh, concept that i have uh, discussed in my previous lecture videos uh, just explained in one single application and hope uh, uh, everything is 
super fine for you guys if you have any question and or doubts please do write or comment if you like it please do subscribe and press the bell uh, bell icon so that you will get notification for the future videos that i will be upload uploading right so thank you guys and catch you up in the next lecture